Today, I'm gonna to be hiking by myself at Duck River Trails in Coleman, Alabama. Come along. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our This adventure. is our adventures. Oh. Here we go. I think it's time to get ready. Much better. Let's get our food ready. So the guys have gone for a golf weekend and yesterday I had to work all day and I do have an appointment really late this afternoon. But since I didn't have anything else, I wanted to go find something to do. So I pulled up my All Trails app on my iPhone and found a place called Duck River Trails. It says it's a 19.2 mile walk and it's in Coleman and it's around a reservoir. I've never been there and I only know about the reviews. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to hike the whole 19 miles because I've read a lot of reviews that said that some parts of it is not real good. So. We're gonna go check it out and see what it is, but I gotta fix me some lunch real quick because I'm gonna take a backpack with me with lunch. taking me to another spot. I did read that there's multiple spots that you can get on the trail, but I felt looking at what the Google Maps one did, I'm right there, like it looks like at the dam. This place was made in 2012, I think it said, and then they finished the dam in 2015. And then this is actually, I've seen 19.2 and I've seen 20 mile loop that goes around the lake that they made with the dam. First stop is to get gas and then we're gonna head up up that way. It says that it's about a 50 minute drive, but you know, we can shave some time off of that Google. It's always a lot slower. like a little parking area looks like you can fish and it's at the lake I am sure that you probably could have parked there and get on the trail but I'm just gonna keep on down this road because this it says this road dead ends into like where the dam is and I'm just gonna park there big lake people are out there on boats and stuff there is a restroom here and i'm fixing to go to it and then i'm gonna start on the trail and see how far we can go today just so you know it's a fancy porta potty right let's start out on our trail i'm supposed to show a house that's probably about 30 minutes away from here today between four and five. I brought a change, a shirt to change into, just so I could come and do something fun today. It's rare that when we are not on a trip and I'm at home, I have free time. That's like really, real rare. It 
must be starting somewhere else because it says I'm on mile marker five. Uh, I'm only a half a mile in, according to my watch. And I'm seriously gonna see if I can try to do as many miles as I can. My goal is 10 miles. Anything over that is a bonus. smell fish. <laughs> One thing I can say about COVID, it has caused us, and I'm sure everybody, to start exploring your own area and things to do around your house. Also, they say that this is dog friendly, so you can bring your dogs, they just have to stay on the leash. I just met some people that were walking without their dog on the leash, and they freaked out when they saw me because their dog was going to take off running. <laughs> If you like to jog or do like cross country jogging, this would be really good because it's like a real, so far, like I mean, I'm only almost a mile in, but so far it's been really tame. I mean, it's not bad at all. Just a few itty bitty little hills, but not much. It hasn't been hard at all. And I probably just made myself go up this hill that's like this. <laughs> but as of right now, it doesn't look like it is. Brought me some water. I figured I'll need it today. This lake is huge. It's so big. Still a good trail so far. About a mile and a half in. I'm ready to go to hell in Georgia. You know, I've always been a person that takes everything in because I want to enjoy that moment. Since we've been doing the YouTube channel, I have enjoyed it even more. There's mosquitoes here. But I've enjoyed it way more since we started the YouTube channel. You just gotta enjoy every moment that you get because you never know when something crazy is gonna happen again and it's gonna be taken away. Because we have, we have loved travel and we have missed out on all our trips this year that we had planned. We've planned extra ones. We've missed out on the ones that we had planned. It is what it is, but I'm taking in and enjoying every moment I can outdoors because we love to go on adventures. Ah! Even a mosquito going into your ear. Bring spray. I set me on a one o'clock alarm because that's kind of my halfway time frame that I have here. So that way I can determine if I need to turn around and go back or keep going. So we'll see. It's, a, it's just now not quite even 11 o'clock. Bill goes on trails with me, but he is not a fan of them, you know. Like when I made him hike 10 miles in Helen, Georgia. When he saw it said 10 miles, I thought he was gonna die. He was so not happy. The longest I've hiked was the first trip that we took in our RV. Well, it was actually the second, because the first trip we went to Clear Creek, and then we went over to Georgia to a state park, and I can't remember the name of it. I'll link it. And uh, that one day, I hiked, Bill hiked probably close to 10 miles. The dogs hiked 10 miles. And then I went on extra hikes because I just wasn't tired yet. Ended up hiking probably about another four miles, about 14 miles 
is the longest I've done in a day. And I'm glad y'all came with me on this hike because I enjoy bringing y'all along. that means that they've taken out all the spider webs because I've been walking through spider webs after spider webs. So now that I've passed those bikers, maybe they took care of them for me. I try to keep watching down, but I'm gonna look at everything. But I'm looking down because I've been seeing a lot of snakes on Facebook people posting pictures of, so I really don't want to see one of those. I mean, like, but do, we just want to avoid it. I don't know which way to go. I don't know how to read signs. But that looks like a water, don't go, like you're going to get electrocuted sign. And then the sign says, busy road, near a bridge ahead, use extreme caution. I picked the right one. It went up under the bridge. <sighs> it just, it did make you think that that was the way to go. That's got to be for bikes because it's showing like a trail over that and it's got that electrocuting sign. Um, yeah, that would be difficult. You would have to jump off of that. Wouldn't go that way. Out to uh, cross over the creek and it's a cool bridge. Talked to a couple of people, and as the guy on the bike said that you can go all the way around. He didn't say that it got bad. The couple I just talked to, they must have got in right there by the bridge that I went under. So there is a lot of places that you can start at. I'm gonna keep trekking along. We're almost at five miles. Only 14 more to go. I don't know if I have enough time for that. But like I said, I had a, got an hour and a half before I hit my halfway point, before I have to make my decision. So we'll see where I'm at. I'll either go back the way I came or continue on. <laughs> the trail's still doing really good. Not bad at all. I'm still on a 20 minute mile pace, which is not bad being that I stopped to take pictures and <laughs> stopped to film stuff and I stopped to get my sandwiches and stuff out of my bag. And Only the third spot that I've had to like walk in the sun. Most of it has been shaded. The bridge, of course, the sun. We went through like a pasture the sun and then those rocks back there it was all sun right at two hours in and just hit six miles see the Loch Ness monster I don't know what it is it's something that's swimming across the water and the fish are jumping trying to get out of their way there's two of them but it's under the water so you can only just see the ripples 
I'm fixing to add me some liquid IV to my water now since I'm about halfway. This stuff, I don't know if it's any good for you, but it makes you feel really good and rehydrates you very well. So you have to try it. We get ours at Costco's. That's been the cheapest place. Have a good one. You too. I really wanted to go the whole 19 miles. So I may come up here and do that another day. But I'm at seven miles and I'm halfway through my day. I need to head back to do my showing. And if I don't turn around and go back, <laughs> I'll miss my showing. So I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna put the camera back up because you're gonna be seeing the same things that we've already been through. I'd say this place is really nice, really cool. I've seen a lot of people riding bikes, people walking the trail. It's, um, the other side was more scenic than this side because you're off of the, the water a little bit further. But if you love to go walk in nature, definitely a nice place. And I think it would be an amazing place if you're a trail runner because it's been, Mostly level, flat, no big hills. If you're up here close to Coleman, I would say come do this Duck River Trail. Like I said, it's 19 miles all the way around, but you can just kind of go out as far as you want and then walk back. And it's not horrible. And uh, I'm definitely gonna come up here and do this again, for sure. This video, I've got two videos because we'll be leaving the week, that Thursday before we upload a video and I don't know if I'll have service. So I made like a filler video that will be <laughs> next week when we're going to Helen. It's just kind of me talking about packing. I was scared. I was going to try to just video, edit the video of us going to Helen, but I was scared I wouldn't have enough service and couldn't upload the video. So I just had to kind of make up a video for that. But we'll be leaving Headed Helen next week. I think I've lost my ever living mind. <sighs> I'm on almost 12 miles. I was good up until about 10 miles. Like at 10 miles, I was like, you know, this feels pretty good. Like 10 and a quarter miles, my legs are like, uh -huh, we're not, we don't want to do this no more. And I still have a couple of more miles to go. But I'm making pretty good time. I mean, I'm gonna, it's gonna be under, I'm gonna end up doing right around 14 miles in less than five hours. And I've enjoyed it. It's just, you wouldn't know that it hurts to walk downhill. I'd rather walk uphill. That sounds bad, doesn't it? Oh, I've never been so happy to see my car. It's up there. Oh. By this point, I must have been delirious. I was filming it on my iPhone and somehow hit slow-mo. So the whole ending ended up being slow. So I just wanted to say thank you for all our new subscribers. And please, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Also, this was like the dumbest thing I have ever done. My legs were killing me the next day. I could barely walk. But I still had a great time and enjoyed it. Till next time. So I've changed shirts and because I had my show in. But now I'll get a treat. Oh. It's a uh, Caribbean colada from Duncan. It tastes just like a vanilla shake. And I love vanilla shakes. Not chocolate. Vanilla. Brain freeze.